Hey guys. Got up to another area. Checking out here. Got these crazy birds still making crazy sounds. I'm trying to see something. Now this is what I call a scent. Something's been here. I don't I can't honestly say what. But if you look right here, you can see and that could be a beaver, but I don't, I'm not a hundred percent on it. Um something definitely has been being embedded here or sitting here. And then I got this huge hole right here. It's hard to it's hard to really tell, but it's it's probably twelve foot round. It's interesting. It could have been a, an old tree trunk at one time. It could be a number of things. But I just figured I'd point that out. I'm seeing a lot of interesting things uh, as I'm looking around. Um, it's definitely, this place is definitely interesting, I can tell you. I don't know what to say to it because there's a lot of new things that I'm noticing here that I don't see uh, in my travels. Like arches after arch, tree break. I mean, it's just, oh, I just seen something run up the hill. Straight up, uh, it's hard to see back there. Something ran up the hill there, though. It was dark. It could have been deer. I couldn't tell. Might not have been a deer unless it was a young deer. It was low to the ground. And the crazy thing is, I, I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it running. Um... I thought maybe I could get off trail a little bit better than I am. I wanted to try to get deeper, you know, deeper than I am off trail because that's where I tend to find most of the uh, structures and, you know. And then that's not always the case either. That's not always true, but for the most part it is. Um, I hear people all the time that's, re that's out researching they say that they have to get way off trail to uh, to see a TP or you know and that's not always the case I'm finding I, I, lately I've been like at the public land I go to a lot break um they they have that small teepee right on the side of the path. Like, you have to walk past it to go, you know, continue on the path. So, it's not always the case. You don't always have to go a million miles out to see things. That's a fact. Um, I, I don't know. I... I I'm trying to get to, I'm trying to figure this out. I, this doesn't look familiar to me, first off. I've got to get back on where I came in at. I don't know which way I came in. Um, I just know it's a path here, so I'm good with that. Uh, I definitely don't like stepping over these logs because, like I've told you guys, somebody's been over this, though. Look at that. Sorry. Footsteps, footprints. And there today, um, I don't even know what I was saying. Uh, what is that over there? I lost it. I don't know where it's at now. I thought I seen a, uh, a hunting blind over that way, but I've, I, I don't see it now. 
Somebody was definitely back here today. The foot tracks, footprints are definitely wet. You guys see anything? Don't hesitate to timestamp it. There is definitely a lot going on here. It's super quiet. It's eerie quiet. Could it be me? Could it be my presence? Absolutely. But I don't think so. There's birds over there talking now. But I don't know. I don't know uh, what's going on over here, unless it is my presence. I, I, I'm not 100% certain on that. When it happens, it happens a lot when I go in the woods, in the areas I research anyway. This is definitely not the, I don't think this is the way I came in. It doesn't look familiar. Well, I'll take that back. It all looks the same. That's the problem. That's what you got to watch. Because when you have the woods all looking the same, no matter where you go, you can get turned around for those of you that are don't hike much or frequent the woods. If you get an area that everywhere you look in the 360 and it's all looking the same, pay close attention, make markers. Uh, mark your spots coming in. A lot of times I'll uh, just scuff the ground. I'll uh, drag the leaves up in a pile. Uh, I'll do whatever I can to make sure that I'll notice a marker or some sort when I'm coming back out, which I did not. It was a, I made a major rookie mistake coming in here. I was so excited when I got out of the truck to just head back that it totally slipped my mind. And that, my friends, will get you lost quick. And depending where you are, it could be a matter of life and death. So please be vigilant and pay close attention to every move you make. Maryland, like I said, Maryland's not as much of a threat as it is when you're out west or in the mountains. Um, I used to hunt a place in Quebec, Canada, spring bear hunt. You did not want to uh, go in those mountains without knowing or making markers or putting markers up on your way in because you would not come back out uh, if you didn't know, uh, if you weren't familiar with the area. And when it got dark up there, it didn't get dark up there until about 10 o'clock. But when it got dark, it was pitch black. You couldn't see your hand in front of you. Luckily, we had guides. They would take us in, put us in the in the blinds, and uh, and they tell you, don't come back, don't get out of this blind until we come and get you. And uh, that was a fact. There was a few times I, I, I got restless and I wanted to get out and I did come out this way. There's the twist I was telling you guys about. I did get restless a few times, a few, a few times up there hunting and I wanted to come out early, but I had to listen and remember what I was told because like I said, we only visited that one time a year. And with hunting it for five years straight, I still didn't have a clue where I was. Walk over here. And uh, we would go into town and visit, you know, to pick up snacks or whatever. That's usually one time. And you would see the posters up on the wall. Listen. Thought that was another whistle um you'd see the missing persons posters on the walls in the stores and it was an eerie reminder that you better know what you're doing 
or you better not venture on your own, basically. We used to drive up and then get in a plane, go in another, I don't know, about a half hour flight out to the middle of nowhere, unload, get on four wheelers and track in another 15, 16 miles and then get off of them, get on a boat, load everything up, go another seven or so, 10 miles and then we we'd be at our cabin and uh our hunting lodge and we used to be on a 17 mile lake and they had some of the biggest musky that was probably the funnest fishing and aggressive fish i've ever caught in my life was a musky um i've seen them up to four foot long four and a half foot long 70 80 pounds i mean just I could be exaggerating a little bit, but I mean monsters. Wasn't nothing for a muskie to swallow a eight, ten pound bass, largemouth bass. I mean that's just <laughs> teeth on them. You didn't when I put you didn't you didn't put your hand down to take a lure out. They they could pretty much equivalent to an alligator or like a garfish. Um you could split your hunt up you could fish you know half the morning or half the day and then hunt the rest or whichever you wanted to do if you just wanted to fish the whole time you were there you could and uh we each had a guide with us it was fun times i miss it actually i may do it again haley's been wanting to go on a hunting trip i may take her one time take her somewhere i just don't hunt anymore so it's I'd probably go just for the fishing and let her, you know, get her a full guided hunt and let her experience it. Um, I don't know about bear hunting, but maybe something else, turkey or deer, something. Go out, take her out west somewhere. But uh, anyway, all right, we're up again. I'm sorry to bore you to death with the talking. Like I said, there's a lot going on here. But I just don't know which way to go, not being familiar with this area. Um, definitely, there's a there's definitely a lot of sign here. Um, do I think they're here right now? No, but I definitely feel something watching me. Look at that break. I definitely felt something watching me a couple different times. Uh, as I was going back, uh, I think there, I think there is something here from a distance watching, you know, you have your day watchers and, um, my friend that gave me the heads up about this place, he had an interesting, he made an interesting comment about this place. Um, he seems to think that there's not only Sasquatch here, but there's some type of forest being. He's seen dark, not skinny, but dark human-sized beings peeking at him. And he's supposed to be sending me the footage. But, again, I don't know if he's going to let me show it or, you know, what, what, how, how sensitive he, he's going to be about it. That's that tree I was showing you guys. But he, he seems to think either, and it could be, like he said, he did also say that it could be uh, people living in the woods, homeless. He doesn't know, but they looked awful dark to him. And I've been to a place that I, I've spotted them, and you guys have seen it. You've witnessed it on camera, too. And... Uh, It's definitely, it's definitely going on, trust me. Do I think it's going on everywhere? No. But if it was going to be a place, any place that they're, that they're definitely living on land, it's here. Because this place is thousands of acres. I mean, it goes 
it goes a long ways. Canadian geese raising hell. They probably got nest. They're they're nesting out now. Get ready to, if they haven't already laid eggs. They're getting ready to. Okay, I'm back up close. Let me walk over here. I haven't been back here that long. Maybe an hour. I've got maybe, I gotta watch the snakes. The copperheads are bad in this area. I do have blue jeans on, but that doesn't always mean that they're not gonna be able to bite through them. A young one, probably not, but they're the most venomous are the young copperheads from what I've told what I've read up that is a big tree it just that tree's drawing my attention big time something I don't like walking up around these logs too much this is where you run into them I don't know what it is look at this look at this break that's pretty fresh I'll show you some. look and I've got tracks through here but I don't know if it's deer or what I can't really tell laying up against there there's a lot of stuff going on here um, I've got what looks like a structure here and then I got a tree break here which is rare that's a rare break. Usually they're up higher than that. The snaps are. Um, more hollies. It just, just interests me. I'm hearing something walking in there now. Might be deer. It's so thick in there, you can't see past. That's why I wasn't zooming. It might be all right for you guys, but for me, I can't see anything in there. There's something dark back there. That's a gum tree that's broke. That's, that takes great force. All right, I'm gonna get back on the trail here. I don't like it over here. Don't, don't like the feeling. I tell you one thing. There's a lot of this going on, and they're hard to break. Also, they're hickories. Arch. For the tree break. I mean, there's a lot going on here. Another tree break back there. I mean, it's just so much going on. There's so much little stuff going on here that you could just stand in one spot for an hour and just look and stare and find things. I mean, it, oh, I walked right into that. Sorry, guys. Um, there's just so much little stuff going on here that it just it blows me away and I find that kind of stuff interesting the little stuff the little things are is what takes you to the big things believe it or not all right guys I'm gonna jump off here I didn't realize I was at 20 minutes I'll see you guys on the next one